In this video, we're going to examine the spread of the 2019 coronavirus outbreak using data sonification. Every time a person dies of COVID-19 in China, you will hear the pluck of a guzheng, a Chinese stringed instrument, like so. This will be played in your right ear. On the other hand, every time a person dies of COVID-19 outside of China, you will hear a metallic collision sound, like so. And this will be played in your left ear. The number of active cases of COVID-19 is marked in dark yellow, the number of recoveries is marked in cyan, and the number of deaths is marked in dark red. The black counter to the upper right of the world describes how many countries currently have active cases. Countries are sorted by how many active cases they have. This is the data from yesterday. Stay safe everyone. Due to the need for rigorous human trials and other stages of testing, a SARS-CoV-2 vaccine may take 18 months to produce. In the meantime, all you can really do is wash your hands for 20 seconds, which is about the length of time since you heard the last guzheng pluck, 
And please, please, please listen to the scientists studying this epidemic. These scientists have told us the disease has a 3.4% fatality rate, which does seem a bit low until you realize its high infection rate means it could actually be more deadly than diseases with higher fatalities like SARS 2003. It isn't all doom and gloom though, because if we are to believe the numbers that China is reporting, then active cases in China have dropped by 64% since their peak three weeks ago. That's good news. The outbreak exploded in China roughly a month and a half before the rest of the world. So in another 1.5 months, we could, could see a similar trend in other countries. That's a huge maybe though because we're not taking into account the differing responses by other countries and the chance of a second wave hitting in the fall. I'm also not an epidemiologist, so I should really stop talking here. But if any of you viewers are epidemiologists, message me on Twitter and you can help make my next video more accurate. Thanks! Next, I want to say thanks to Bo Zhao for producing this interactive map of coronavirus's spread. The CSV file you linked at the bottom is the easiest and most comprehensive dataset I've found so far, and it's a big reason why this video can exist. I'm also grateful for the New York Times Developer API, which makes the task of repeatedly downloading articles easy. HM even gave me tips on how to improve my queries. Thirdly, countriesoftheworld.com has been by far the easiest place to download flag images. It's a godsend. And to all those curious out there, I coded this visualization in Processing, which is a graphics library that uses Java. I did record a screen capture of the entire 6 hour process of me coding, so I might upload it in the future if people want me to. But back on the topic of the epidemic, if you're wondering which country currently has the highest COVID-19 rates per capita, it's Vatican City, with one case per 801 citizens. That means one case total. If you want to learn about a time when infection rates were as high as one third of all people on Earth, you should watch Extra Credit's video series on the 1918 flu pandemic. It's over an hour long, very well made, and can teach us some lessons on what to do and what not to do this time around. Finally, I want to talk about something that's not entirely coronavirus related. About a month ago, I spent two days collecting data, coding, and editing for my first video on coronavirus, which did decently on YouTube. But after that, some random TikTok user downloaded the video, cut out the part with my face and my name, and re-uploaded it to TikTok to get twice as many views and 10 times as many likes. That's TikTok for ya. But looking at the post's comments, nobody knows or cares where the video really came from because that's TikTok for ya. Except Dyson Garcia, you're the cool one, you vacuum cleaner. Hey reposter, hey, thanks for giving me credit. Six days after first posting the video, a comment which reached literally 0.001% of the people who saw the post. As a silver lining, at least it's getting the message across, I guess? By the way, if you use a clip of my video anywhere, but you did give credit since you posted, then we're cool. In that case, it's fair use, and I applaud you for it. Okay, that's all I have to say. Goodbye!